Have you ever imagined? What would happen if breathing was a voluntary process? Would it be possible for you to control every breath voluntarily? What would happen if you forgot? Even this thought is scary. So, luckily, respiration is a reflex process. Means, it is under our subconscious control. But, it can be controlled voluntarily for a short period of about 40 seconds. Except the ones who practice a lot to withhold it for quite longer periods. But still, at a point, they are forced to breathe. Well, respiration varies in different physiological conditions. Like during exercise or stress, we breathe much faster and forcefully. But then, we get back to the normal in a while. That's because of some regulatory process going on in our body. Breathing is regulated so that the lungs can maintain the partial pressure of oxygen and partial pressure of carbon dioxide within the normal range. Even under widely varying conditions such as exercise. Normally, the quiet regular breathing occurs because of two regulatory mechanisms. Nervous or neural mechanism and chemical mechanism. Nervous mechanism that regulates the respiration includes respiratory centers, afferent nerves, and efferent nerves. While the chemical mechanism is operated through various chemoreceptors, it includes central chemoreceptors and peripheral chemoreceptors. We are going to discuss these mechanisms in detail in this video. Well, in the previous videos on introduction to respiratory system, we discussed the different parts of respiratory tract and the muscles involved in respiration. So, you know that, unlike cardiac muscle, which contains intrinsic pacemakers, the muscles used for breathing are skeletal muscles. And skeletal muscles require nervous stimulation to contract. So, here we will focus solely on the control of these respiratory muscles. And we will try to make it much easier for you. So, without any further delay, move on to the next sections. Where? We'll talk about how the respiration process is actually regulated and controlled. How different kinds of receptors influence the respiratory centers. And what these respiratory centers are actually doing. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics only on scotia.com.